Hey, what's up, Canada? Welcome to our review of motorcycle footwear for the Adventure Dual Sport category. So what you're looking for when you're looking for Adventure Dual Sport riding in boots, if you've checked our footwear guide, some other videos on that, you'll know that you're looking for one, comfort, two, some warmth, and three, a certain element of waterproofing that's gonna keep you nice and dry and warm through long rides, either off-road or on long touring rides. And we've got three great boots that do exactly that for you today. So quickly, let's go over to here to the Alpine Stars boot and take a check out of this one. It's a nice boot, it's, it's a nice sleek boot. There's not a lot of, uh, it's, not, it's not got a lot of high-vis logo work going on here. It's well put together, of course, as you would expect from the guys at Alpine Stars. You've got a nice reinforced toe box here. You've got the shifter panel. And of course, you've got your accordion stretch panels going up through the instep. Entry to this boot is not a zipper entry. It is purely by these three or these two uh, locking tags, Velcro uh, straps. And then there's a third closure strap at the top of the shin. And when you open this up there, you'll see inside a very nice wide waterproof gaiter. So there's no water that's going to get in. Everything's designed to push the water down and away from you. If I turn the boot round to the back, you'll see again, we've got another nice accordion stretch panel here and a nice reflective panel at the back as well. It's a very clean, it's a, a very well put together, but it's a clean boot. There's not too much going on as far as logo, as I said before, but what it does, it's waterproof. It's designed to be warm and comfortable and keep you dry. And that's exactly what it does. First gear with the Killy High waterproof boot. I don't like what they've done. They've kind of gone a little bit more, there's a little bit more color going on here, a little bit more design, a little bit more flair. Uh, again, standard stuff, you know, you've got the, the reinforced uh, toe box, you've got your shifter panel here. I'm gonna switch this around to the side here straight away because I really do like this logo and the work they've done up here and I like the white stitching that goes around all the, all the different panels. Again, a nice accordion flex panel on the instep. You've got a nice, it's a very nice, it feels like a nice comfortable shin. You've got a very thick lining inside. Uh, this does have a medial entry through a zipper, which is fastened by a Velcro closure on the outside. Uh, but again, as I say, you've got a nice warm lining on the inside, definitely not going to leak. You move this around to the back. And again, you've got a nice reinforced heel cockpit. And again, some reflection going on on the back as well there. And finally, if I turn this over and you can see You've got a really nice sole. And I like the way the sole comes on in, onto the inside. You've got that kind of raised edge on the, on the outside there. And you've got plenty of grip there for pegs and uh, also for when you get off the bike and you're walking around. Finally, the CD. This to me is the flagship of our Adventure Dual Sport Category boots. It's a CD. It uses a Gore-Tex membrane. Remember, a Gore-Tex membrane is 100% waterproof and breathable. They have something like 8 billion tiny little pores for every square inch of Gore-Tex membrane. And each, uh, each, each hole is thousands and thousands of times smaller than the water droplet. So no water gets in and still the boot is allowed to breathe so you don't get, uh, you don't get perspiring feet, which is always a good thing when you're on long rides. And it also keeps you warm as well. If your feet aren't getting clammy, then they're not going to get cold. Again, standard stuff, lots of protection. This is a very durable, very strong boot. You've got a great big, nice, uh, bulky toe box here. Um, again, entry for this one, purely through the, the locking, uh, uh, locking buckles here. There is no zip entry, but it's a big wrap around boot. So it wraps around nice and tight, almost wraps halfway around again. So again, there's no water going to get inside. When you open it up, it's a nice wide, easy entry, a big wide rubber gaiter with a membrane there that's totally waterproof. If I spin of the boot around to the back, You'll see again, we've got some nice reflection here, lots of support, a nice heat, a nice solid heel cockpit and plenty of support up through the Achilles tendon and through the back of the shin. Well, I think it's a really nice looking boot too. I think it's a top of the line boot and it's certainly one worth investing in if you do a lot of adventure dual sport riding. And that is indeed the end of our review for the adventure dual sport category. If you need any help making a purchase or just some other information on a product, please do give us a call. We can't wait to hear from you. My name's Simon. We'll catch you next time.